everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is June favorites. Um, a lot of good things in this. Some beauty, some fashion. So let's get started first with a body product. I, I had seen this on TikTok, the Salt Air Golden Hour Body Wash, and I love it. It smells like a vacation. There's like shimmer in it. Um, the shimmer doesn't stay on your body, obviously. But um, it's oil infused, so it's really hydrating. And I don't, the shimmer stays in my mind. I wash with this and I envision myself getting out as if I'm coming off the beach, golden, bronzed, and glowing. I'm not, but it kind of it makes me feel that way. And sometimes how you feel is, is more important than, than reality. You know what I'm saying? So uh, loving that. Um, Again, still loving my Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I've gone back to this. I love it so much. Just for adding a little bit of warmth, especially in the summer. Um, you don't want something heavy on your skin. This will just melt into the skin. Super lightweight. But on the lines of Makeup by Mario, the new bronzing serum, I got the shade Light. And surprisingly, Fair was too fair. Um, I like it because you can either pump it into your foundation and kind of mix it, or you can use the doe foot applicator, and that's what I use. This isn't too orangey. It's a little, little more cool toned, um, very, very sheer, very foolproof. Um, can't really build it up too much though. So if you're looking for something with a lot of pigment to build up, this is not the product. This is quite sheer. Um, really allows your skin to show through and just adds a tint of color, um, much like the skin enhancer, not as warm though. Uh, okay, Ooh, the Jones Road Shimmering Face Oil. They sent me one of these. This is the color Midas. And once again, like Jones Road products, they're all very um, natural. It's very, um, it's a little more pigmented than let's say the Say Dewy Glow. Um, that has, that's very sheer. This is a little bit more intense. You can kind of use it as a highlighter, but it just gives like a fresh skin look rather than too much, um, pigment. I would say if I was going to compare this to the Armani Fluid Sheer, which is like my, one of my favorite Holy Grail glass skin liquid illuminators, I do like that better, but this is, this is close. This is very nice. And you know what I wanted to say? Not everything, you know, I, I, I saw this um, video on TikTok and this girl was saying, not everything has to be a favorite. You know what I'm saying? Not everything has to be holy grail. You could like some things and they could really work well for you, um, but it doesn't have to be like the best thing you've ever tried and that's okay. And I like, especially someone that does this for a living, I don't, I'm not obsessed with everything, but it doesn't mean I don't use it regularly and love it. Do you know what I'm saying? So as I'm saying this in a favorites video, but that being said, you know, there are still products that are like, are my like very top. I will always have. And then, but I use a lot of other things as well that I really like. Uh, this more for the color than the formula, the Buxom, um, plumping lip glow serum, much like the makeup by Mario, but the color is cherry popsicle. And I, as I'm getting older, <laughs> I've always been someone, you guys, if you've been following me for a long time, you know, I love a nude lip neutral, peachy, nudey, pinky, nude. Um, as I'm getting older, when I put those colors on, I look adult, flat, lackluster, slightly uh, not alive. Like, I'm like, why do I look so dull? Um, and then I'm kind of like, you know what, maybe I need some color on my lips. And what I've been liking more than like a vibrant, like a, like a deeper rose or something that's like more creamy or more full coverage, um, neutral, but amped up. I want a sheer wash of like a bright, bright, vibrant pink, red coral. Cause I feel like that kind of stained Benetint look on the lips and add some gloss can be so beautiful and flattering. Um, I didn't like this look many years. I was always like, I don't like that popsicle stain. I used to call it the, um, the magazine editorial look. They would be like, just, you know, dab a little bit of red blush on your lips. And when I would do that, I was like, I don't love it. Now I love it. I really feel like it brings a lot of life to my face. 
So I love this color. Formula's okay, but the color is phenomenal. All right, I, I've reviewed a lot of fragrances over the years. Um, and honestly, I've, get, I've gotten a lot of fragrances gifted to me. I have never been a huge fragrance buyer. Like I am, I know some people will spend tons of money on fragrance. They always have a huge fragrance wardrobe. Um, I've never been that kind of person. So I like fragrances here and there. Will I invest like thousands of dollars to have like a huge fragrance wardrobe? Not always. Um, so I was kind of looking for some new summer fragrances, but I was like, I don't really want to spend a ton. I want to just try different things. I got the Fleur, Fleur Moonstone um, Skin Mist, Body Mist. It doesn't last super long, but I love the scent. Oh my gosh. It's kind of like fruity and moon-like. That makes no sense. But in my mind, when you think of what a moonstone would smell like, this is exactly what I think it smells like. I don't know. It's kind of like fruity floral. Um, and I absolutely love it. Um, a fragrance that I am going to buy the full size of because I wanted to try first a small size, the Ellis Brooklyn Sun Fruit. Mm. It smells like sun and it smells like fruit. I, I don't, it's the perfect name. You could not have come up with a better name. It is so lovely for summer. Uh, this does last a lot longer. So, but those are the two fragrances that I have been loving. Um, I have to shout out the Road Blazing Milk again. I bought a repurchase of this. It's fant it's fantastic. Um, milky toners, milky essence, they're really having a moment right now. Like tons of brands are putting them out. Um, this is still one of my favorites. It's very, it's much thicker than some of the other toning milks that I have. And I'll do like a little, um, I'll try to do like a little YouTube shorts, like just comparing some that I have. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It's super hydrating. It's really nourishing. I feel like it really um, soothes and protects my skin barrier. Use it as an essence. Sometimes I'll use it as a serum. Sometimes I'll use it as a final step in my skincare routine, either before makeup or at the end of the night. Um, you know, when a celebrity often comes out with, especially a younger celebrity, comes out with a skincare brand, um, you know, sometimes you can side eye it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're kind of like, uh, you know, what what could it really be? Is it just like cutesy? Um, she really knocks it out of the park with this. And I've heard amazing things about the glazing, um, the moisturizer, the glazing fluid. And I just heard, heard so I'm going to try the others. I tried the cleanser. It wasn't that exciting to me. I do love the lip tints. I love the lip glaze. Uh, but this glazing milk is 10 out of 10 out of 10. I will keep buying it. Um, and if you're more mature and you're worried, like, uh, is it really going to do anything? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is fun for a younger age range, but you will really see amazing hydrating and moisturizing benefits as someone more mature. So I really think you guys will love this. I have been loving, so One Skin sent me some products. Um, I never heard of them before, but they sent me like, just like a topical supplement. You know, I love I love body products that have the intensity of face products, you know, because you don't want to, I mean, I love fragrance body lotion, but I need my body skin to be treated like my face skin. So I love the topical supplement, but I have been loving the body SPF. Um, I use this more just on like neck, chest, arms for the day. And I like it because sometimes I'll try a body moisturizer or a body SPF and it's very flat. It feels very like, almost dry. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's a sunscreen and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going out today, but I just want protection when I'm going to be in my car and out and about. Uh, this is so lovely. It's got a bit of a sheen is not the right word, but it's like moisture. So it makes my skin look really nice. Been so impressed. Um, Bloom Effects. I love their sunscreen serum. You know, I've talked about it a million times. They came out with a sunscreen stick. I, just as good. Just as good. Um, and especially if you're someone that just like wants to bring something with you on the go to reapply. Can I put this over my makeup? Probably not. I could just, um, what I have done before, but I just kind of like rub my fingers into it. I'll pat it in. Um, but it is absolutely stunning. Uh, once again, uh, so many brands are, you know, I love discovering kind of newer, smaller brands. And I've always been like a big Nordstrom Sephora shopper, but like over the past year, I've just been discovering smaller brands that are not 
as widely known. Um, so it's kind of been a little bit more fun. And I'm, you know, as someone that's always thought of just like, it, like large retailers as like the place to shop for beauty products, it, you know, I, cause I've always worked in those retail spaces. I've always worked in those. And so that's what I've always known. Um, I love discovering kind of these smaller brands and the, the, the brand and how effective they are. It's just been really, really fun and wonderful. So I love sharing them with you. Obviously I still love shopping at Sephora and Nordstrom and I will still use like very widely known brands, but it's fun to discover kind of these smaller beauty brands. Um, and often sometimes they're open to like doing discount codes and stuff. So excited about that. Oh, NARS reformulated their powder blushes. They are talc-free, longer wearing, the color is supposed to be truer to like the pan. Um, they really changed orgasm though, I'm not gonna lie. Like I, they sent me orgasm and I was like, it is now literally just a topper. It used to have pigment to it. Um, it used to be like one of my favorite blush colors back in the day, like it had color. Like I could throw that on my cheeks and that's it. Um, it's really just a topper now, which is kind of disappointing. Anyway, they also sent me Dolce Vita. Um, which is lovely. It kind of gives me that like sunburnt look. I don't wear powder blush as often. Powder blush formulations, some are really moving forward. You know, with RMS Beauty, whoo! Her powder blush formulations, 10 out of 10 out of 10, okay? Um, a dry skin lover's dream, okay? Still great for oily skin or whatever, but dry skin, mm, stunning. This still reminds me of like old school makeup powder blushes. You know, um, so I have to use like a light hand, just kind of buff it out. It does kind of stick in places um, if I don't have powder down first. Either way, I absolutely love the color though. Um, really beautiful. And okay, I think that's it. I think that's all beauty. Let's move on to some fashion stuff. Okay, Heaven Mayhem. I got these earrings from Heaven Mayhem. They are mixed metal. First of all, love that because I have like, some mixed metal on my um, bracelets. I have some silver, some gold. Um, these are super popular right now. This is the mini knot. They have the regular size, the mini, and now they have the mini mini. Um, but this is mini, uh, love them. Every time I wear them, people always ask, what is on your ears? And I was like, mm -hmm, right? Uh, love these so much. They did give me a discount code. I have a discount code for a lot of these things. So always check down below. I try to update that. Uh, okay, let's get on to some fashion. I have not been in a denim shorts mood this summer and really last summer. I love my A Goldie denim shorts, but I have been reaching for other styles, but I was like, I do want a pair of denim shorts, but I want something like, I don't know. I wanted something more classic. I wanted something kind of flattering that I could dress up or dress down. I got these, the A Goldie Dame. They are this, this hand emoji, this one. Mm, they are so good. Um, I did size down in these. Um, I like that they're just cuffed, they're high-waisted, they're kind of longer, and the fit is stunning. They're just, they're just what I wanted. I wasn't looking for like a distressed pair. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't reaching for any of my denim shorts. Then I got these and I was like, ooh, these are good. Okay. Um, if you're looking to invest in a pair of trousers, okay, for work, for life or whatever. I love my Abercrombie, okay? That's more of a mid-range price point. Uh, Taking it a step up, we've got the Favorite Daughter. The, um, I got the shorty, the shorter version, um, which are still quite long, not gonna lie. Um, and I'm 5'4". Uh, they are stunning. They do run a little small, a little bit. They're like fitted in the waist and they kind of have a little bit more room throughout the hips. So, um, which I kind of like that they kind of go in at the waist. Um, the weight of them though, they have some drape. Do you know what I'm saying? They, when you pull them up, they just like, they hang back down. They definitely have some weight to them and drape. They're stunning. They literally are gorgeous. Um, wear them with sneakers, wear them with, uh, sandals, wear them with pumps to the office. I love that trousers are now seen as so much more of like a versatile closet item. Okay. Um, tank dress, I got this black tank dress, it's inside out, but it's a simple black tank dress from Heidi Merrick. It's gorgeous. It's just beautiful, simple. Um, it's good to have like just a simple black tank dress. Um, I did share of YouTube shorts of how to style it for the office because something like this is like, 
that's a little like there's not much to it. How can you wear that to the office? Mm -hmm. I showed you how to do that. Um, I showed you how to do that with this blazer. This blazer from LVLC. It's just like a camel, um, kind of oversized, slightly oversized. I don't like too oversized, um, but it's just gorgeous. It's like the fit's beautiful. I styled this with that tank dress and then I wrapped a belt around my waist. Like, I like, and I know there's like always this joke that like, Influencers don't understand what people can wear to the office. I do. I do. I worked in an office. I've never worked in a corporate corporate, like suits only, but I understand. I lived in New York City for 15 years. I know what people wear to a professional corporate office. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so this with the black tank dress, you know, the black dress is like a midi style, wear some kitten heels, sling back pumps with it. Um, super professional and take a jacket off as you're commuting because it's super hot and just live your life in your tank dress. Love that. Okay, this belt, I uh, was never a belt person. I've really been stepping up my belt game. This from Orium Collective, it's just, it's it's gorgeous. Their belts, first of all, are stunning. Um, absolutely beautiful. This one is it's just like a moment around your waist. They have this studded belt that I die for. I absolutely die for. It's so, it's like all these like studs and everything. It's so gorgeous. Um, they also gave me a 20% discount code, so, which is major, because these are kind of pricey, and 20%, mm -hmm, major. All right, let me just grab these shoes. I've got four shoes to share with you, and then we're done. Okay, we went from a really pricey, some pricey items, to all affordable shoes. <laughs> yeah, okay, Target, $20. Thank you, thank you. Um, absolutely love these. They have, like, this cushy memory foam-ish sole. Love these. Love them. They came in like they come in a bunch of different colors. Um, I got the white. They're comfortable. They look great. Yes, yes, yes. Um, actually, all of these are Target except for one. These sandals, there's like little Birkenstocks. They were ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay. Um, they're not leather. They're like a foam material, which I expected for ten dollars. I wasn't. They're so comfortable. When I put these on, these I I leave like right by my door because I live in these literally live. They come in a million colors. I cannot recommend these enough. Okay. Um, I wanted some Birkenstocks for the summer. I love my Freedom Moses. Those are around $50. They're not too bad. These are 10. I mean, to be honest, if they don't make it through the summer, I'm okay with that. Uh, but they still hold up fine. And like I said, $10 come in a ton of colors, wear them to the pool, and then also wear them out and about in your life. Love that. Um, J. Crew Factory reached out to me and they were like, we'd like to send you some things. I've never really shopped too much in J. Crew Factory. First of all, I got this tank. I got these linen pants that I have on. Um, stunning. I also got these. These are so simple, so chic. Um, yeah, I just like wear it with a maxi dress. I would wear it with, I have like linen trousers on, this shirt, and these sandals. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, uh, a outfit for the office, business casual, throw on a cardigan if you can't show your shoulders at work, but if you can wear sandals or something, how classic. Love these. Um, and then I wanted a simple pair of black sandals. I haven't worn a thong sandal in a long time. I'm not going to lie. Um, these are from Target. They were $20, $25. Uh, but they're really nice. They're memory foam. It took me some getting used to wearing the thong again between my toes. I I'm not going to lie about that. Um, but I have gotten used to it. They're really, really comfortable. They're chic. Like I can, I wear this with, I can wear it with like a maxi dress, maxi skirt, shorts, um, jeans, everything. They're kind of like a dress up or dress down sandal simply because they're black. They're simple. There's not too much detail. And I always find those items are great for like dressing up or dressing down. Um, so yeah, we've got a mix of like high price things really budget friendly things. Um, I'm all over the map with this, uh, but I've got a ton of discount codes um, for like a lot of these things. So be sure to check that down below um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.